All Recipes user Judy says her grandfather brought over this recipe from Sweden in 1921, and this old-fashioned Swedish glog has origins even older. What started off in Rome as mulled wine made its way to the rest of Europe, and thus Swedish glog was born. Here's how to make this warm and tasty winter beverage. Heat five bottles of port wine over medium heat until just below the simmer point. A note from the cook. Use an ordinary, inexpensive port wine for this recipe because the flavors and spices we're about to add will overwhelm an expensive wine. Next, add one 750 milliliter bottle of 100 proof bourbon whiskey and one 175 milliliter bottle of white rum. Then bring back to just below simmering. Place three whole cardamom pots, one small cinnamon stick, four whole cloves, and one three-inch strip of orange peel into the center of an eight-inch square of cheesecloth. Gather together the edges of the cheesecloth and tie with kitchen twine to secure it. Here's where things get heated. When your liquid mixture is very hot but not boiling, carefully light it with a long-handled match so it lights on fire. Making sure to wear a heat-proof cooking mitt, carefully pour three-quarters of a cup of white sugar into the flames and let the mixture burn for one minute. Put the lid on the stock pot to extinguish the flames and let the mixture cool, covered, for about 10 minutes. Then add the cheesecloth bundle of spices, a 15 ounce package of raisins, and one six ounce package of blanched slivered almonds to the warm wine mixture and let it cool to room temperature, which should take about an hour. Strain this cooled glog and reserve the raisins and almonds. Your house should be filled with the warm aroma of this glog so take a minute to enjoy the smell and subscribe to our channel. To store, pour your strained glog into the bottles, recap, and keep upright in a cool, dark place for up to one year. You can also refrigerate the steeped raisins and almonds in a covered bowl or jar for up to one year. To serve, pour the glog into a saucepan and warm over low to medium heat until hot but not simmering, which should take about five minutes. Ladle three ounces of warmed glog into a small coffee cup or small Swedish style glog mug and garnish each serving with a few reserved raisins and almonds. We hope you enjoy your Swedish glog and thanks for watching.